I try to build an apex when it comes to short nails. The nails will start looking bulky. Because you try to put too much powder, you try to build your best when you don't need to. Just nice, even application is all you need. Just the application will take on the structure of the nail, which is has a natural apex already. And you have a very natural looking nail compared to a big bulky round nail because you try to put more powder on there and try to build apex when it's not needed. Nails that's short generally won't break, okay? It just doesn't. It doesn't get caught in things, it doesn't break. Put it all, that's all the powder I needed. No waste. Nice and smooth. drying, nice and crisp shape, a nice taper square here, you guys see? She has some good cuticles. <laughs> How thick should a set like this be? Um, this set, I would say one credit card thickness, I'm gonna be honest with you. You don't want it to be too thick. Um, the thicker it is, when it comes to short set, the thicker it is, the more the more it looks, uh, uh, it starts to look fat because you do too thick. So you gotta be really careful. Short set, one credit card thickness is all you need. That's one of the issues why a lot of nail techs struggle with shorter nails because they start off doing with longer nails and they so used to picking up a lot of powder and just you know dragging it through and moving it through the nail and pinching off excess. So when it comes to the shorter nail, they have a shorter shorter um, surface area. It's harder for them to do because they'll want to bring up too much powder and before you know it, it's going to be like you know too thick and then you know it's just frustrating. I understand. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm working, working today. I'm actually at nail tech today. I did a thing at my client. My shot will freak out the client. My shot, like, bulky and extra thick. Ah, I'm sorry. You must be from, like, Jersey or something. You are from Jersey. You see, up north, northern, uh, this is the thing. Um, different states have different styles of nails. Like, states up north, they like that stuff. They like the thick nails. They think that the thicker the nails, the, the longer it lasts. That's not how that works. That, that that used to be the mentality back in the day. I want my nails really thick so it doesn't break. Well, guess what? No, no, no nail is not going to break. If a nail wants to break, it's going to break. The problem is, if your nail is going to break and it's super thick, it's going to take something with it. So how do you want? You want, the, you want a nice clean break? Or do you want like a you know, bleeding finger on the internet break? That's the truth. When a nail wants to break, it's gonna break. Wherever that the person is doing that, it's gonna break that nail, it's gonna break regardless of how thick it is. Like I said, when nails are short, you can't, have to, can't do it thick, or else it just looks like a bubble. cute nails is short sometimes we do there's certain designs that goes on these nails 
certain designs that goes on so short now is actually very simple, minimalist, but very cute. I'll probably do one for you guys in a second. Studio is about 68 degrees right now. So the part of the running, so I gotta make sure my ratio is lower. Man, this reminds me of when I used to do lives every day, all day. <laughs> I've never done nail lives three times, three in a row, guys. Woo! Yes, hit the lottery today. You see a lot of my followers coming in like, wow, you're really doing it today. I'm like, yeah. I know. I'm doing short nails, I'm doing dip, I'm doing all everything today. I actually miss doing this because uh, this is how Ash started for my community, my platform, through the nail lives. I know I got a little bit busy because of the teaching and stuff like that, but there you guys go. It's nice and clean. I'd like to come back to where it started. That's where all the support came from. Just let me join you all the time. Huh? I said let me join you all the time. Yeah, if you got money to keep getting your nails done every day, yeah, keep coming in. I remember when I started two years ago, I had five people watching me sometimes. And I'm like, wow, cool. And now I reach millions. It's crazy. Sometimes I go back to, um, I get Facebook or do like, hey, uh, or like a time hop. I remember when you did this live, like you know, two years ago. And I go back and rewatch it. Man, I was so awkward back in the day. <laughs> when I first started doing lives, I didn't know what to do. I kept answering comments. Now I'm a natural. It's funny. A lot of you guys have been probably following me since day one. You guys remember how it was back in the day when you did live. And you also remember how many sets I used to be able to do. I remember one day I did 18 sets in 10 hours, y'all. I li live streamed every one of them. Was, I actually put on the live stream and I just I told them, hey, I'm really back up today. I got a lot of sets to do. And, uh, and I just left the live running and I, I just kept doing clients without talking. And people were just literally there watching me for hours and hours and hours and hours doing client after client after client. It was, it, was, it was so fun to go back through the comments and read the comments. That was probably the, the best live that day. It was like a Saturday or something like that. And I told everybody that I can't, you know, respond to comments because I have a lot of appointments, but I'm just gonna leave the live stream open because I didn't want to keep turning the live stream on and off, you know, and have to restart it. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it on for those who want to stay. And yeah, I left it on all day. and. Apparently you can only leave it on for four hours. So after four hours, I have to restart it again, but within four hours, I was able to do like five, six sets or something like that. And people were like, really? I went back through the comments, I just got laughing because everybody's like, oh my God, what? he's done already. I went up to go to the bathroom, came back, he's on another client. <laughs> that was like the Truman Show for nails. It was so fun. I mean, I, mean, I should do that one time. I, that one day I'm gonna book like, a bunch of clients and just do that Truman Show, like Nails Truman Show. Yeah, 18 sets. You need to do that again. Yeah, I, I, I should. I should. Do you, what do you do with the part of crystallize? Is it too cold? Yep, um, the part of crystallize, it is too cold. That means that, it's, that, means that the, uh, it's too cold. It's definitely too cold. Uh, crystallization also means that maybe you didn't have a monomer on it too, and maybe a little bit of powder got under there and it didn't, uh, it didn't um, uh, seep in. But crystallization usually happens with clear powder. More likely clear powder. But yes, too cold is actually one a big factor of crystallization. brush and just fold the powder in. Eventually it starts to dry and then once it's good enough I'll start to move it. I 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that again. That sounds fun, actually. A whole day of me just doing nails, just leaving the live stream running. Doing is coming in and out. Anthony, if your shop is against you because you're doing, you know, proper thickness nails, um, just tell them it's my client. If the client comes back and has breaks, guess what? You'll fix it, not them. But I don't think you should have any breaks if you're doing short nails. One crack on thickness is literally all you need. Last thing you want is bulky nails when it's short already. need to show you I mean if if Facebook ever reminds me again of that live maybe it's still up it's probably still up on the internet somewhere it's so long ago so maybe on that and that on that day over like, hey you remember this live and I'm, I'm gonna reshare that live for sure but Facebook only allows you to go live for four hours then they actually cut you off automatically I found that out that day you can't like leave it on all day crazy that day I was doing like short sets long sets design sets ombres I did a lot of ombres that day I probably did like five ombre sets that day out of the 18 sets I did but I was knocking out ombres in like 30 30 minutes tip one color two color shape top coat It was fun reading the comments. There was over like 2,000 comments on that live because it was four hours long. And I just, I, I spent the whole day just at home look and like when I got home that day and just looking at the comments and just reading people's comments and people were like, oh, he's so much faster than when he was, he, when, when he talks to us and does com yeah. When I'm working and I'm not like having to read comments and talking to you guys, I can just, just focus, you know. I'm knocking these sets out like crazy. This set probably will take me about 30 minutes. But I do enjoy reading the comments. Just the interaction with you guys, that, that's fun. It's crazy, a lot of you guys have been following me for years.